This is Steve Dombowski, head football coach at Swampscott High School. Steve, as you look back at the first weekend of North Shore High School football, I know you had a former player at Swampscott perform very well in their first night for Lending was High against Gloucester. Yeah, we were happy for, uh, for Jermaine Kelly and his performance this weekend. Um, you know, he wanted an opportunity to play quarterback on the North Shore, and um, so they moved out of Swampscott, and, and Jermaine's... Uh, was treated very well by Lynn English, and for him to come out and have a good start was, uh, was we were happy for him. As you look around the North Shore, a, a team that uh, now is in your division, Gloucester High School, uh, might have been knocked down a peg. Who knows? And when you look at comparative scores, but what's your take on on that English Gloucester game? Is and as you will see Gloucester later this year. Well, I, I know from seeing uh, particularly Lynn English in the in the summer, they had a lot of great uh, athletes at receiver, and obviously we know Jermaine can throw it. So. Um, you know, it's tough to say without seeing the game live or seeing the film, but it's, it would appear that, you know, Gloucester is going to need to reload. And obviously they lost coaches and they lost great players. So um, unfortunately for us, we don't have them in week two. We have them in week 10. So they'll probably have plenty of time to get better and prepare for us. But, um, you know, that was probably the biggest surprise, I would think, for people, just the, the overall outcome and the score in that game. And, and your game Friday night at Winthrop, what kind of a game are you expecting in Winthrop Friday? I would anticipate a war. I mean, Winthrop's a very physical team. They have a lot of pride, very well coached. So, um, you know, they came out right off the bat and took it to Danvers in that first drive, and then they weren't able to do, sustain any drives. So um, we're going to have to play uh, aggressive defense uh, like Danvers did. They had 10 guys within five yards of the line of scrimmage most of the game. And that worked well for them to control Winthrop's run game. So uh, you know we're going to have to stop the run game and then and then uh, play pass defense when it's time to you know to do that. And hopefully we can move the ball uh, offensively as well.